Okay, guys, watch this armbar. It's it's a uh, we're gonna go for from the guard again. We're still playing from our back. We're going to the Kimura lockdown. I ripped the Kimura out. I try to take it back, but maybe I feel him posture. You'll see what I mean. We're here. I've got the Kimura. I've got my foot on the hip. I scoop my leg back. I threw it up and over. I raised my hip. Okay, and now I'm here. Okay, when I get here, guys, I want to rip this out. But sometimes the guy's a beast, and I can't rip his arm out. And maybe he starts the posture right here. If I... If I don't react the right way, he's gonna just posture completely up and like almost pull me up, Joey. Look, and now I'm like here, I'm about to fall off. It's awkward. The more posture he gets, the better. So when I feel that, all I'm gonna do, guys, is watch. I use this foot now that's outside. I'm gonna put my face on the ground, my forehead, make my neck strong, and I'm just gonna roll through. Watch, I gotta raise my hips though, so my toe, it's gonna help me raise my hips. My forehead goes on the ground and I kick through. And now I'm in an arm bar right here. Same thing. I'm gonna sit up, attack the wrist for the arm bar. Watch that again. Let's do another angle. Watch this. I'm here. I'm attacking the, the Kimura. Okay, I, I get my hips out, guys. Very important. When I get out, when I go out here, very good to make sure this foot isn't still in half guard. I want it out in front because I'm gonna end up swinging my leg up and over, raising my hips, and I need help from this leg. Whenever I throw this foot inside the hole, notice my foot hooking. Let's rotate just slightly for that. Look how that foot is hooking right there. Okay, when I feel him posture, this is all anchoring me in. My foot goes to the mat, I roll through and kick him right in the neck with my hamstring. Now I get here, I sit up, attack, quack. One more time. The key, guys, is, is gonna be this, watch. My neck and face have to stay strong. Actually, I'll do it without you for a second. I'm gonna be here on Joey, I got his arm, right? My leg comes out, up and over, and I raise my hips. My foot is threaded. Whenever I roll through, guys, it's very important that I first Put my face on the ground, raise my hips, and then kick through. Those three steps have to happen. Watch that one more time. This is going to be the hardest part of this whole move, and this is the part you're going to have to probably practice. Watch this over again. Rewind it. One, I raise my hips. My leg goes up and over and in. Okay? Now, whenever I go, I'm going to have to put the weight on my forehead first. Right here, and then I roll through. Watch it, one more time. Uh, which way is it going to be the best angle is what I'm trying to do. Okay, watch this. Boom, hip out. My foot's out. My leg comes up and over. I raise. Right here, watch. One, two. The momentum and the uh, pressure he's giving me from leaning backwards is going to give me that. So partner has to be posturing up hard or it's not gonna work out right. So get a good partner, train that. More guard stuff, guys, check this out. We have one more option from that Kimura lockdown position that we can do. Check this out. Let's say I got my grip, I've, I've uh, gotten my grip, I get my hips out, my leg comes up and over, thread in the hole, I'm here. Okay, let's say I started here, I wanted to rip the arm out, but maybe he started posturing. As he started feeling me posture, maybe I go here, maybe he goes back down. If he hides his head back down, guys, watch. I'm just gonna keep my forehead on the ground, raise my hips, kick my leg back, and come up to the back. There's a sneaky way to get there. They're thinking, oh my God, I'm defending everything. I'm, I'm on to him, okay? And then you're gonna kick over his back. And look. Because I had this, look, I got an arm trapped already. I'm already looking for the neck. Right as I kick my leg back up and over, I attack the choke immediately. Okay? If he was to defend, no big deal. I'm going to strap, boom, start trying to take the back. Or maybe even go right back to the arm. It's a great, great option. Watch that one more time. Let's take a slide angle. We're here. I got the Kimura. 
I'm going to get my hip out. I throw my foot up and over. I raise. Instead of when he goes to posture, maybe I was going to do that one, but now I feel like if I try to roll through, I won't get him. Or maybe I try and I don't get him. Watch. My shoulder and my head are on the ground. I'm going to kick my leg back up and over. Watch this. I'm going to let go with this hand. Put my hand on the mat and start working myself back to here and look for that choke when I get the chance. If I got to this hook position too, guys, you never want to keep them in turtle. If you get both hooks in on the back, don't stay in this position. Position. You're going to stretch them out. Let's go back. If you need extra stretching power, go under both arms and stretch them out. And then start to look for a choke here. One more, one more. Let's actually take the far angle. So from here, I got my, let me have that. I'm gonna have this. One, scoot this out, leg up and over, I raise. I go, I back step. I use my hand and I put my hook in and I start attacking this choke. Flatten them out if you need to. Go have fun. All right, guys, here's what the premium membership's all about right here. This move is going to look really fancy, and it is. But it works. You got to be ready and learn how to use it, though. Okay, so watch this. There's a few situations that you can use this, and I'm going to show you the, the first one. This is the best way to learn it. And then the other ones are a little bit trickier. You're going to be in danger when you use it. But let me show you the first easy one first to get good at it. We're here. I have my Kimura, okay, from the guard. Let's say I got it. And now he starts the posture before I can get my, my, my leg up and over. When this happens, guys, it's okay. Scoot your hips out. You're going to punch the wrist to the stomach. And this all relies on his posture, so he has to be posturing. When he's pulling up, it's giving me the power to do this. Watch. I'm going to swing my legs out straight. One. As I circle through, I'm going to pull myself to him. My left elbow is going to hit him in the chest as I make this circle around. And look, it's going to boom. Knock him down. Right when I get here, guys, you guys know what we're doing. It looks just like the position when we're taking the back, which it is. I'm going to go foot, tilt to our back system. Or if I can, I can go triangle or even arm lock and finish. But it's a nasty and sneaky move. Takes a lot of practice though, I'm not gonna lie. It's called the hot dog roll. So you, for obvious reasons, man, you feel cool like a, like a hot dog. Watch this, boom. I'm gonna scoop my hips out. I wanted to throw my leg up and over, but he's blocking with his head. He's posturing. If I try to throw it up and over now, I'm just going to end up losing everything. So I punch it to his gut, to his leg. I'm locking my Kimura trap out. My bottom foot comes out. My legs swing low to the ground like a pendulum, nice and straight. As I make the circle, my elbow will start to... Um, I'm making sure my elbow goes in front of his chest. And right when my knees get close... I'm gonna bump him. Boom. Now he's on top of me. Now I can go to the hip for the back, to the shoulder for the triangle, or to the head for the arm lock. If you go for the hip, one, two, three. Sayonara. Okay guys, let's, let's talk about from the guard here. Again, we're here. We just covered Kimura lockdown. We covered the Kimura, traditional Kimura finish. Okay, we, we took the back. We've done some different things from here. Okay, we also have done the hot dog roll where we rolled through. Okay, now be careful. I'm gonna show you what can happen when someone tries the hot dog roll, you're leaving yourself open. I didn't warn you on the hot dog video, but watch this. Joey's going to do it to me. So, first of all, you never want, in a, as a general rule, on bottom, you don't want to have a Kimura in side control from bottom. Not to say there's not ways for you to attack. There's ways for your partner on top to counterattack. 
You don't want that. So let's rotate a little bit more right here. Joey starts attacking, and let's go from uh, side control so I can explain that. So if he was to lock a Kimura here, guys, he's free with his legs, just like the Kimura, uh, the hot dog roll. But if he goes now and he's not careful, I can sit up and start to attack an arm lock. What is countered a lot, let's do it again. What usually happens is, it happens before the hot dog roll as you're going to grab it. Right as you go to grab it, I'm gonna put my weight here. I'm gonna grab my own stomach. I'm gonna step up and I'm gonna sit and look for the arm. Watch that again, it's a way to counter. He reaches for the Kimura. I gotta first protect myself so my hand grabs my stomach, my belt. I'm grabbing the front of my body to make sure he can't just rip it out. Notice I'm dropping my shoulder too. If I let my shoulder do this, he's gonna rip it out. Yeah, he'll rip it out. If I drop right here, he doesn't have quite that same power. My shoulder's going low here. Tilt this way, it's tough. The more I start the posture, the more it starts to put pressure on his Kimura. You guys see, I'm almost re kimuraing him back. And you can, watch. I can make him tap right here. He grabs, hand, sitting up, posturing hard, twerking his own wrist out from behind his back, and he'll tap. That's the first counterattack. Now, the second most dangerous counterattack, one, two, I step around all the way. Look how far I step. Look, I'm past his arm. That way, when I turn, I can just sit. And now I have his arm. I'm looking to fight it loose and looking for the arm lock right there. So, when you're the guy on bottom, you have to be ready for that. So watch. This is the ultimate trick. I get the Kimura. I'm right here. If Joey starts stepping up, put your uh, weight, your arm on the other side of my body. Now he steps up. Right as he steps over, I have to time it. Look. Boom. It's a timing. It's a shortened hot dog roll. It's the hot dog roll, but he put himself into it. Watch that again. So I got this. As I go to roll, watch. Or no, as he steps over, sorry. Freeze right here. Right when his butt crosses my center line, I'm here. And now what I have to do to finish this is bump my wrist into, or his wrist into his stomach. Boom, right there, look. Now he ends up right into the trap. And now I'm here and I'm punching and looking to let him move so I can pull off one of my techniques. Watch that again. It's a bump at the most perfect time. I should slide around this way just a little bit, right there. So I'm here, I go, he's, or no, he goes, sorry. He steps up and over, right when he switches, boom. My elbow is hitting him and I'm going, boom with my hands right at the perfect time. So watch, Joey's gonna do it to me once. The timing, guys, the timing is the key here. He gets actually out, he grabs the Kimura. As I go, watch, I step up, right as my butt cheek crosses his eyebrow. He punches and it spins me right into it. Look, money, thank you. Go try that a million times, get that timing right, and ideally avoid grabbing Kimuras without a leg in. Always grab it from half guard, then scoot your hips out and start to go.